Hi, Chris here from Dot Product demonstrating the Append feature in Phi 3D 2.0. The Append feature is designed to assist with filling in gaps in the data and with linking multiple scans together in the field. So we're in a one bedroom apartment here in Brookline and I will demonstrate both versions of Append while we collect 3D data on the entire apartment including three scans. First, the living room area, second, the bedroom area, and third, the kitchen and bathroom area. So first, we're going to go ahead and start scanning the center living room area of the apartment. And I am using April tags in the scene. So I've hit detect April tags while scanning. And you see there is a tag right in front of me here. So I hit start mapping. That, that tag immediately turns red, indicating it's been recognized by the software. And I will want to return back to it at the end of this single scan and turn it red again to assist with closing the loop and improve the accuracy in this first scan. So now I'm going to go ahead and walk around the entire scene and paint everything I care about in the living room, both green and yellow, which indicates the highest quality data. Go ahead and fast forward here and finish up. You see the yellow bar on the left side of the screen indicates my RAM, so it's getting pretty close to the red, which means I'm pretty full as far as single scene capture goes. But I do have room to go back and add data if there is anything I missed. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit finish mapping on this first scan. And now I see the unoptimized file right on the tablet. You're going to want to go ahead and pan around the scene and check to see that you've captured everything you intended to capture. So if I zoom in, I got the majority of the walls, couches, everything I need here. But over by the closet door, it seems like I missed a corner of the room. So this is a perfect example of when you would use the append feature to fill in a gap in the data. This append method involves actually adding more data back into an existing file, the one we just scanned. So it's important to note that I have not optimized this scene. I'm going to actually append the data first and then optimize, which will include both scans in the optimization. So next I'm going to hit the append tab and I can scroll down here and see some different frames to choose from. Basically what I want to do is select a frame where I'm confident I can reposition the device in an area close to where I want to add data. And I ignore the red frames that are unusable, but I'm going to select one here with the shoes that is near the closet and in a position where I'm reasonably confident I will be able to relocalize the device. It's also important that I do not check the box here to start a new scene spatially connected. We'll save that for later when we're adding different scans together, not for when we're adding data into the same scan. So when I hit start append, it'll give me a warm up time. You'll notice the yellow bar on the left hasn't changed from my last scan because we are actually adding back into the same file. When I hit start append, you'll see a ghosted image on which I'll overlay the device that actually recognized it immediately, but you will see a ghosted image otherwise. I had it positioned well, and now you'll see there's some gray and light green, but no new data collected until I start panning up into the area I haven't captured. So let's get some more green, yellow, capture that April tag, and fill in the gap in the data. Now we can let this process, and it just takes a few seconds here, after which we'll be able to again view the data right on the tablet and see how we have filled in the gap. So here's our scan, and if you pan back to that closet corner, you'll notice that it's been filled in completely by the second scan we did here. As I zoom in on this April tag, you will see some blurriness, some very slight misalignment. That will clean itself up now with the next step, which is optimization using April tags, which will lock in that alignment throughout the scan. So if I go to the Optimize tab and hit Global Optimization, Use April Tags, now it'll process, uh, align the data, level the colors, and um, implement the April tags to create a single file with both scans, including our append, that is much cleaner and processed. There you go. So now you see that the April tags have cleaned themselves up, and the entire scan in general looks much better. Uh, as far as color leveling, alignment, and uh, straight points go, among other things, uh, this is our optimized complete scan of the living room. 
So as I zoom out here, you'll see we've captured the living room, but we still have data to collect in both the bedroom and the kitchen bathroom area to the right. So this is going to be a demonstration of the second version of Append in which we capture additional files and link them back to the original file and the original coordinate system by appending the files together. So now we're going to append new files back to this existing file using the second version of append. But first we're going to have to do a couple things with this file. So I'm going to go ahead to the coordinates tab and set a coordinate system. So I'm going to zoom in on the corner here and somewhat arbitrarily set that as my origin. Um, you may obviously want to make sure you pick somewhere on the floor and uh, somewhere that makes sense for your system. And I'll set that as my 0, 0, 0. I'll tap the floor to set my primary z-axis straight up. And then I can tap the wall to set my x-axis straight out. And I'll actually switch that to my y-axis so that all my axes are within the apartment here. Now we have a coordinate system that makes sense. And this co coordinate system will carry through every other scan that we append uh, from here on out. So next I hit the File tab and I want to save the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as Apartment 1. And I'll just put in here an O, an A, and a C. Uh, that's just my way of noting that I've optimized, appended, and set the coordinates within this scan. And I'll leave User Defined Applied Transform or Coordinate System when I save it, which means that I'm using the coordinates that I just set. So now that I've optimized, set the coordinates, and saved the scene, I can go back to the Append tab. And here I will again see a collection of frames to choose from. But this time I'm going to want to check this box on the right that says Start New Scene Spatially Connected to Existing Scene. What that means is that the RAM on the tablet will be flushed once I relocalize, and I'll be able to collect a brand new scan uh, starting from the bottom as far as that green bar on the left goes. So now I need to select a frame. I'm going to want to pick something near the bedroom door so that I can continue from there uh, to collect my new scan within the bedroom. And again, of course, I'm going to disregard these red frames, but find something good here um, with the couch and the, uh, and the bedroom door to, uh, to append and continue from. So this looks like a pretty good frame. And um, now that I've saved, optimized, and checked that box, I can go ahead and hit Select to append. It'll give me a warning here about unloading the data, but I know I've already saved the file, so I don't have to worry about that. I can go ahead and hit Continue. And as the camera warms up quickly here, you'll see that yellow bar on the left is still up where it was when we left off on the last scan. And I'm going to hit Start Append. I see that ghosted image of the lamp post and the couch. I'm going to go ahead and line that up. And now I'm locked back in. That gray, light gray, light green data is nothing new. That's what we captured before. But when I turn left into the bedroom here, you'll see that yellow bar drops back down to the bottom. And now I'm collecting fresh green and yellow data in the bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and collect the door frame here and then move into the bedroom to collect the entire second scan within the bedroom. Ask me to slow down, please. The yellow is getting pretty high, so I'm about ready to finish up the scan back where I started on this April tag here at the door. So I can go ahead and hit Finish Mapping now. And again, I want to pan around, check, make sure I've captured everything I wanted to capture as far as the bedroom goes. So if I zoom in here, I'll see I got all four walls, the bed. And you'll notice there's a sign blocking the bedroom mirror here. And that is intentional to prevent the mirror from confusing the scanner. Uh, there is some shadowing behind that sign, but we're not too worried about that. So it looks like we got everything we need in the bedroom. And we can process this scan similar to the, how we did the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Optimize tab here. And Global Optimization, Use April Tags, and I'll let that process. This will take a little bit longer with April Tags 
um, and with large files uh, like we're collecting right now. Once it's processed, I should see the cleaned up data here. All of the April tags, the walls, the bed look very clean. I'm very happy with this scan so I can move forward. I can also check out the point cloud view to see every single XYZ color coordinate we've captured. And I can zoom out here to see the full overhead view of the bedroom. So next I'm going to hit the file tab and click save scene. And I will rename this new file to be apartment 2. And it has been optimized and appended, but I'm actually going to add an N here since it's not appended within the file, but appended as a new file. And I can go ahead and continue. And I will leave user defined selected here. And that is actually referring back to the original coordinates we set in the first file. So the next step here is going to be to bring up the original file we scanned from the living room. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click the Load Scene button, which will bring up the two files we've saved so far. And I'm going to click on Apartment 1, which was the living room scan file. It's important to note here that I intentionally scanned the center portion of the apartment first. This is a method you should always use when appending multiple files together, and it's something we call the spider method. So basically, instead of appending to appending to appending, which can create drift in the data, you want to scan the center portion of your area first, and then append each file back to that same original scan. Hence the term spider method, where you're bringing every, every additional file back to the same first file. This method will result in the lowest chance of accumulated drift or misalignment throughout your scans. So now that we have opened the living room file, I'm going to want to go ahead and go back to the append tab where I can do a new append on the other side of the scan. So again, I will leave the start new scene spatially connected box checked and scroll through to pick a frame that this time is close to the right side of the apartment, the kitchen bathroom area, which we're going to be capturing in this third separate file. So this very first frame of the stove actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on that and hit select to append. Again, reminding me that I'm unloading the data, which I've already saved, so I can hit continue. And now I again see that yellow bar right where I left off at the end of the first scan. And I line up the stove top here. There, we're locked in. And once I start collecting new data, that bar will again drop back down to the bottom. There we go. So I'm going to start painting the kitchen here and pan all the way around into the bathroom as well to collect our third scan file appended starting from that stove top. I'm getting a little bit of feedback here on the shiny black dishwasher. So I'm going to try and approach that from a couple different angles and fill in the data there. So even when you are facing a tough object, different distances, different angles should be able to fill it in with the exception of a mirror itself. I'm pushing the limit of my scan here as the yellow starts to turn red, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in the bathroom real quick before closing out the scan. And let it process. And now we see the unoptimized scan, which I, again, for a third time, will pan around to make sure I've gotten everything I intended to capture. Looks like we got the bathroom and the kitchen. So now that we have the third scan complete, I'm going to go ahead and optimize that one. So again, I go to the Optimize tab, hit Global Optimization, Use April Tags and let it process. Given that this file went all the way into the red and used a lot of April tags, this will take a little bit. And once that finishes processing, I will again see my cleaned up and optimized scan. Here we see a little bit of stray data from the bathroom mirror. We will crop that out later on. And now go to the file tab and hit save scene and I can again name my file this time apartment 3 and again hit user defined 
which should be pre-selected based on the original scan of the living room and the coordinates we set in the corner. So next I'm going to switch to my post-processing software, in this case Autodesk Recap, where you'll see all three scans come in together using the append feature. So now I've plugged my tablet from the DPI-8 into my computer, and I'm going to navigate to it here, click on internal storage and point clouds. There I see my three files from the apartment. I want to select all three, drag and drop them over to my desktop, and now I can open Autodesk Recap. I'm going to start a new project in Recap, call it Apartment, and proceed. Next I select Files to Import, go to my desktop, select all three, hit Open. One setting I like to change here is in the Advanced Settings. I bring the decimation from 5 to 1. That's just a quirk in Recap that it defaults to 5. And then I hit Index Scans. This will take a few minutes because it is three files. However, still much quicker than usual as we are still using the highly compressed .dp format, which imports directly into Recap via the .product recap plugin, which is available in the links in the description below. And once that completes, I hit Launch Project. And there you have it, all three apartment scans coming in together in Autodesk Recap. I can switch to the fly view to do a virtual walkthrough right away and check out some of the data we've captured. So here's the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen, and the bathroom. So as we zoom out of the bathroom here, you'll see some stray points from the mirror. Um, so we're immediately going to want to just delete those. So select and delete. And next we're going to switch to ortho view so we can get that floor plan perspective. And go to the top. Now we're going to turn each scan on and off so we can see how much overlap there is between the scans and what overlap we might not actually want. So if I turn off the middle scan, turn off the bedroom scan, and turn off the bathroom kitchen scan, you see there's still a lot of overlapping data that might result in some discoloration uh, even if there is good alignment. So we're going to go ahead and crop out all that extra living room data. And then crop out any extra bedroom data that came through the doorway just a little bit there. and crop out all this extra kitchen data from the very first scan. Now if we want to look at our floor plan with the ceiling cleared out, we're going to do a clipping box here and just drag the ceiling down. There we go. And if I look at the top view, we can now see a very clean, colorful scan of the entire apartment from top down. So if we want to take a look at this one more time, with the fly mode we put it back into perspective view, switch to fly, and now it should look even cleaner than before. Living room, kitchen, and bathroom. And that concludes this tutorial on the append feature in Phi 3D 2.0 on your DPI-8 kit and here in Autodesk Recap.